Welcome everyone. This is Zanta with Repo Products. Today's video is on Dynamo and Revit and how to use Dynamo to create a script so that you can alter the display of the rebar that's in your view for structural purposes. Here I am in Revit 2018. I have a 3D view in front of me of a column and a footing. If I switch this to wireframe, you can see that I have rebar in here. A lot of times we want to be able to see the rebar in a level of detail where it's not simple line work. It actually has the 3D geometry thickness and we may want to have it so that it is displayed uh, unobscured from the geometry. Typically we would select the rebar. You head over to the properties palette under the visibility states the edit. And then we would place a check mark for in the particular view that we want to work with, setting it as solid and maybe setting it as unobscured. When we do this, we can see that the rebar doesn't look like a line work anymore. It actually has thickness. And if I switch this to shaded visual style, you can see that it is unobscured. I can see through the host object. And if I needed to do this for all of the rebar, I would have to go through the process of selecting all of the rebar to do this. It gets a bit monotonous, especially if you have a very detailed structural Revit model with tons of rebar. So how do we use Dynamo to help us in this process? I'm going to take this Revit model back to its default like this. And if we head over to the Manage tab of the ribbon, we have the Dynamo player here and the Dynamo program here. I'm going to start by opening up the program and showing you the script that helps to make this happen. So here's the Dynamo interface. I'll click Open, and I'll go get the Dynamo script that I created earlier. So we can look and see it and understand it. And I'll expand it, and you can see that I have two areas that I'm looking at. One set of nodes that retrieves the data from the Revit model, and one that sets the visibility conditions. So here on the left-hand side, I'm telling the software, get all of the elements of a specific category, in this case, structural rebar, and look at it from the current view that I'm working with. And if the command is set to true, it will automatically take the rebar and set the view to be unobscured and set the rebar to be solid in the view. If this is set to false, then the command won't function and the view will remain the way it is. I'm going to close this Dynamo player. I can leave it open and I can run the script and it would do so. That's not a big deal. But in this case, I'm going to purposely close it because I want to show you from within Revit, they also have what's known as the Dynamo player here. And if I click this, the Dynamo player window interface opens up. And in this interface, you can tell the software what a uh, folder to look at for all the Dynamo scripts. You can move this if you need to. And so here you can tell the software browse to a folder or view the current folder, refresh all of your Dynamo scripts that you're working with, and it's going to list all of them here. And the one, the one that we want is the one that says set rebar as solid. Now you have the ability to just play the script and let it do its thing. We can click this little icon here. We can edit the inputs or we can click this little pencil marker here to actually edit it in the Dynamo window interface, which is this command back up here. So for now, I'm going to click this little box right here that says Edit Inputs, and it will switch the panel of Dynamo Player so that you can see a more of an end user interface level of what you're looking at. So here it says it's looking at the structural rebar category, and the Boolean operation is set to false. If I run this script and hit play, nothing will happen because the Boolean operation is set to false. If I click this operation to true and I run it, what ends up happening is that everything gets adjusted and you can see all of the rebar have now been set so that it shows as 3D thick uh, rebar. And if I set this to um, hidden line, you can still see it nicely. If I set it to shaded, you can still see the rebar and it's unobscured. Now, 
if you click this little icon right here to edit in Dynamo, you can only use this command if that Dynamo window interface is not open. If it's already open, it will tell you to close it. So if I click this command, then the Dynamo main interface window will open up and you can see the script and you can modify that script if you need to. Okay, and so as you can see here, it opens up the script and I can see that data. Now I'm going to close this Dynamo player and I'm going to minimize this script a little bit just so that we can see what's going on. I'm going to set this to true and then I'm going to run it. And it's going to run the script. And now if I expand this Dynamo player, we can get a little more careful look at what we're doing. I'm going to move this down so we can see. And in the software, it's telling me, look at all the elements of the category called structural rebar, find them. And in this case, it's a simple Revit file. So it only found those six and their specific Revit um, GUI interface numbers. It's looking at the document and the current active view of that document which happens to be the rebar, 3D rebar view. The operation is set to true, so it's going to force the software to tell Revit to make all the rebar and set that view to be unobscured. And also, let's move this out a little bit. And this out a little bit. And this one also set to solid in the view. So we'll grab those six rebars and the SUID ID numbers because that's what it's referencing and working off of and it will basically run the command and force them to be solid and unobscured. So this is a quick uh, video demonstration on Dynamo and how to change your visibility of rebar in a view in Revit. Thank you.